Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Marie, and thanks for joining us this week. We're here in Central Florida, right next door to the Ocala National Forest, and we're following the transformation of an energy draining horse farm into an energy efficient, eco-friendly, and ultimately healthy home. This week, we're insulating Terra Verde, not only for the energy savings, but to improve the home's indoor environment. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be spraying isonine, which is basically the benchmark of half pound spray polyurethane insulations. And we're and using their latest and greatest. We're right? using their newest product called LDR50, which is a very green casserole oil based product. And we're excited to be doing it here for you today. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. There's a lot of insulation choices out there, soybean, castor oil, um, cellulose, the list goes on and on. How does a homeowner choose? Well, as far as the difference between the insulation materials, we'll start with the, um, soybean. the soybean versus the castor oil based material. Um, soybean, obviously, as most people know, is a food source. So by using that material in the insulation, we're actually taking away a food source. Um, as far as for the castor bean goes, we can Don't grow... We, you, don't, you don't eat the material exactly, uh, but we can grow it in more remote climates. We can grow it without pesticides, and we can grow it without water. And it'll, you, it'll you get more, and you get more of the product out of it versus the soybean. When it's harvested, when the material is harvested out of the product, we get more out of it than the soybean does. So it's actually a, a uh, by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, it meets the requirements um, for a renewable resource product. And how about the cellulose? Well, as far as the cellulose and like blown in or fiberglass blown in insulations, basically those are going to have to be replaced over time. Because they start to compact on themselves, as soon as they start to compact, they start to lose their R value. So what you'll have to do is over a certain amount of time, you're going to have to go in and you need to blow in more of that insulation up in the attic. With the isonine insulation, we apply it once and it's there for the life of the home. So one of the big things in green building is durability of a product. The durability of the isonine is, is once it's in there, it's in there for the life of the home. How awesome is that? That's great. Vented attic, unvented attic. Steve, there's a lot of confusion out there. Please explain. Well, before what you had here was a traditional vented attic. In other words, you have a soffit vent and you have a ridge vent, the air moves into the attic. Unfortunately, the attic is a place where a lot of heat builds up. That's where your air conditioning system runs. So what you have is you have all of your ductwork running in 140 degree air. It doesn't run efficiently. Mike, I understand you're the isoning guru. What's the science behind this stuff? This is pretty awesome. Well, the science behind it and the, behind the uh, unvented attic that we're doing here is that uh, it, it addresses a lot of different uh, scientific principles of, of physics. In other words, warm migrates toward cool, moist toward dry, and high pressure toward low pressure. So when you seal this attic off the way that we're doing, uh, Isonine is both an insulator and an air barrier, so we're stopping 99% of the air from flowing into your attic. Once we've done that, you now have an envelope of your building. You have your walls were insulated earlier, and now you have an insulated roof deck. Uh, so all of this airspace becomes one, uh, as opposed to a vented attic where you have that warm, moist air flowing through the attic. So you no longer have a hot attic, you have a very cool attic. Uh, you have a very dry attic, so you don't have condensation issues, and you've actually now located your ducts in uh, your air conditioning system in a very nice space, nicely cooled and conditioned space, versus a very hostile space where it, where it would have been uh, before with the vented attic, because it, the temperatures in that attic could be 150 degrees in the summer. Since this is a healthy home project, right. what are some of the health benefits of isonine? It's a good question, because we're, we're talking about green building, and that seems to be the focus these days. Well, green means that it needs to not harm you and it needs to be energy efficient. And, and in the case of Isony, we've talked about the energy efficiency, but it's good to know that there, there are no, uh, there's no off-gassing, no volatile organic compounds come off of the material. Uh, in fact, I had a, an experience with an architect who was uh, designing a house for a lady who had extreme allergies. And uh, she actually had to walk around with one of these for a couple of days to make sure there were no reactions. Uh, and how did it work in, out? In her case, just fine. She has Isony in her home. Wow. And uh, it, it's been used in, uh, in, in some projects uh, that, are, that are well known, such as the, uh, the American Lung Association's Health Homes. Now, if you have any green evading questions or you want to learn more about our project, log on to our show's website, yourlifetv.com, and we'll be right back. 